Okay, one of my other dislikes with GM and this design is this oil pan. They do not make a rubber gasket and you're forced to use the cork. What I found one of the first times young in my career when I did one of these S10s where I actually had to pull the engine out to do this. Um, we actually had to pull the engine out and basically flip the motor over. Um, the only difference here to then, I was using orange RTV, I'll show some pictures now. And they don't have orange anymore, you have to use unfortunately black so. now when I do the two two gaskets it take about two days to do it I actually glue the bottom side first like I've done here with a brand new pan from spectra I actually glue this down because this doesn't have a lip edge to go over so this can become an issue when you're trying to throw it up so if we get it um, glued in place you don't have as much of a fight um, one thing I do is I will take a flashlight, and I've already done it, but I've checked to make sure there's no light showing anywhere in my gasket surface. Okay, so now that I'm um, ready to put the pan back up, I'm going to lay one last bead. This one's going to be a little bit thicker. Make sure you do one here. Now I've already put some up in the block corners, really hard to get to. GM from the factory used just Mastic, which is pretty much uh, their version of RTV. There we go and then build a pretty good bead because that's the choice you have to do. All right, that's a double bead. This is your only option. Now, if people have a better way of doing this that actually works in six months, you know, I'd love to listen. But I've done this and I actually had three years of contact with that vehicle until they sold it. So, well, they sold the S10. Got stolen, actually. But from what I was told, it didn't leak, so. Do you think it'd be a bigger engine bay in the S10? It's a light duty truck. So, you'd have more room to work on the motor? Or is it just as tight as the Pontiac Sunfire? <laughs> you can't do the oil pan gasket with the engine in place. Really? No. Actually, that's in the GM book. It says no provision in place to do oil pan gasket. Engine must be removed. Oh, well, you did it without taking out the motor? No, I did take out the motor. You're not saying it's No, because it's front wheel drive. I don't know. Are you sure? Did you have to take that motor out? Yeah, dude, we had it almost out and still couldn't clear the oil pump. Because that S10 had a particularly deep pump in. Now, the only other way I make these cork gaskets live is I petrify them in RTV. <laughs> and that seems to work. Now, you're going to want to let this petrify. Now, being I've used a, a liberal amount here, we'll call it very liberal, um, we are going to have to let this breathe before we put it up in place. So. But you want to make sure, as thick of that gasket as you took off, you want to replace. Make sure it's at least an eighth inch bead. Otherwise, you will have leaks. I already told the customer this thing's going to leak anyway, but if we can make a little drip or no drip at all, well, that's our goal here is to do it right once, first time. And then I'll come around the edges right on the back side and get right in between that gasket so it doesn't crush. That's the other trick here. Petrify the cork. The other thing is you do have to let this sit for 24 hours before you put liquids in it. Uh, this is one of the few times you do not want to put the vehicle you're working on, if you're doing the service, back into service. The best luck you have is to let it actually cure for 24 hours. Okay, pan's done. See where it's at. I can, you gotta just get me where I want it. All right. So we push the smart TV in the important areas, corners, meeting areas. I guess we put the oil pan on first before the timing cover, and there's a reason for that. Not 
that's why it slides right in. Come on. What the hell? Oh, there we go. I think. And there's two pins, locating pins, and you should just push on. Might be a little tight. Oh, there's one. So where's two? Where's Waldo? Uh, you need to come down on the driver or radiator side. Come down. There, almost there. Almost there. Push, push, push. There you go. And then those two nasty studs. Well, we have the hoop out, so they're not too bad to get to. You have the hoop in. That could be a different story. Don't forget to put some grease in the front seal. We did that. We used Wally Prelude. Now we did leave the oil pan gasket loose because we're going to let it set, but you know, it's pretty much you got to do this all at once. Yeah, the 2 2 is an interesting beast. And again, just want to run them down lightly. You don't want to squeeze the gasket yet, you want to give it time to vulcanize. Vulcanized time will depend. The warmer it is, the quicker kind of thing. Today we're at about 80 degrees, so we got about 10 minutes of flash. Ridiculous amount of RTV you got to use on this. And there you go, starting to squeeze in the front. Good. You might want to put a bolt in to hold the cover on while you're trying to sandwich these two together. Uh, get a little wompy on you. That'll cause the bolt to pinch on you. And bad things will happen if you don't do this step. Yeah, I can see it squeezing out the gasket. Perfect. So I just want to show you that little bit of squeeze. That you, that's what you want. That's what GM intended for that gasket to seal correctly. And I'll go through and I'll smear it afterwards just to make sure it's good. One of the things with cork gaskets is not too over tighten. You just tighten it. You could use an inch pound reader, but pretty much you just tighten it to the bolt stops. Because you don't want to over tight the cork. It's better to leave it a little loose and have to come back underneath and tighten it. And normally you want to go in an X pattern and you tighten these bolts up. That's the weirdest sounding oil bolt I've heard. That studs for you. Well, it's the thing, got no room. The motor dropped last night. You want me to lift it up? Yes. Okay. Hey, you can stop there. All right, oil pan's tight. All right, moving on to the next thing. The uh, serpentine tensioner should be next. 